Hey, expand on how you doing, buddy? Bill, you are a real piece of shit. You know, you could have just told the truth about uh, spending. I I don't even know what twenty, thirty thousand, forty thousand dollars on a fucking gotcha game. Uh, maybe. Uh, and I'm a lifelong wrestling fan, by the way, but I would never get sucked into something like that because um, it makes no sense. It's not it's not fun. It's just stupid. Uh, but you could have told the truth this whole fucking time. And so now that you tell the truth, you expect some, uh, um, I, I, I don't know, uh, you know, le letter from the Pope to absolve you from your crimes. Um, and I don't consider it a crime. I consider it uh, you being a mark. You're a fucking mark. You're a fucking loser. You've already been proven to be that throughout your whole career. That's you. Bill Bornell, the mark, the loser, the freak, the absolute dumbass who would spend, I, I can't even imagine, like, look, I spent a lot of money uh, on, you know, whores and drugs and liquor and everything else, uh, but God damn it, I've never spent any money on WWE brawlers or champions or whatever the fuck they call that goddamn game. I, I can't even imagine being in your situation. But now, now you, 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 you supposedly come, you've come clean. And so we're supposed to forgive you. First off, I didn't care in the first place. All your money on this fucking bullshit. Like, that's what you did. That was your choice. Whatever. Like, who gives a fuck? Uh, but you made it an issue. By lying about it, Bill. That's what you did. You made it an issue by lying about it. And you're a mark. There's no other way to say it. You're you're a mark. You're not a, you're not a smart. You're not uh, you know, somebody who's like um in depth. You're obviously just a fucking mark, dude. You're the people, one of the people, that they target because they know you're a fucking idiot. I love wrestling and have for my whole life. I'm from Memphis. Uh, the Memphis territory is legendary, and I don't want to go through all that right now uh, with Waller and everything else. Um, but like that that's my life. That's my life. You are a fucking mark who spent tens of thousands of dollars on a fucking bullshit game. And you did that yourself. Nobody made you do that. And then the the crowning achievement really is that you lied about it. You lied about it for years, and now you want to come clean and say, oh, that was me. That was my account. Oh, God, yeah, that was me. Oh, I actually did do this. No, motherfucker, you shouldn't get any breaks. You shouldn't get any fucking support for your uh, honesty, quote-unquote, after what? Five, six years of lying about your fucking account? And as far as I'm concerned, you know, spend whatever money you want. I, like, I really don't care uh, about you spending your money on this game. But what I do care about is you lying to the fans, which is a constant theme with you. Lying to your fans. Lying about what you need. Lying about the fundraising that you need. Lying about the washing machine you need. Lying about the fucking, you know, so-and-so you need. And, and these are people 
you know, I take this seriously, honestly. Like, people think, like, you know, I'm cutting a promo, obviously, but, like, you know, if if I was in trouble, if I was in real financial trouble, and I came out here and said, please help me, like, you know, I need your help, uh, people would help me. But you do that on the regular, and it's a fucking lie. That's the fucking problem, DSP, Phil Burnell. You know, you, you, you lying to your fans is the problem. It, it's not that you, you know, people can have crises. There's, there's no doubt about that. But... You're a liar and a fraud and a mark and a fucking idiot. And I'm just getting started.